everyone and welcome to what's going to be my very first ever YouTube video. I've set up this new YouTube channel and I've wanted to do this for so long and I just haven't been brave enough but this week's been quite a momentous week for me and I've implemented a lot of changes. I've just stepped back from my job and I've been in my career for over 30 years and literally yesterday I stepped back and yeah it's a bit of a momentous week so here we go and we'll just see where life takes us it's, it's going to be a very exciting I'm sort of excited the first time not to know what my days and weeks are going to look like and I'm free to do whatever I want to do and I'm feeling quite um I don't know just not even overwhelmed I feel really excited about what's to come so um anyway i've been posting on instagram for a while my instagram is wild unfiltered the same name and i want to document everything that's happening in my world um i'm on a bit of a fitness journey at the moment so hopefully you'll see this um transform over the next few months so it might take a year or something but we'll see we'll see how it all goes and um, I'm really enjoying training. So I think there's a lot of fitness and lifestyle and well-being content that I really want to get involved with. But I also have um, a love of handbags and you can see some in the background up here. Um, and I have some mutual friends who are in the same category as well. So um, myself and a few friends went to Paris in March, so I'll just introduce them. So Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet, um, Emma from Emma Anders, Pam from Bag Addict 1971, Lorna from Lorna Style and Joe from Jojo Looks. Um, you all know who you are and you all have massively supported me and wish me well on whatever I want to do next. And I love you all for that. So thank you for always being there, guys. Um, and yeah, when I wanted to start the channel, um, I was actually talking to Amelia and she did a, a really fun video, which she's tagged a few people. Obviously, she didn't tag me because I didn't have um, a YouTube chan channel at the time. But she did say to me, it's actually quite maybe a good one for me to to do because it's just a bit of fun. Um, nothing too serious, nothing too um, meaningful. It's just, it's just fun and maybe start with that and just see how we go and then as we go into um, things a little bit deeper I might share more of my world because you know this week has been such a momentous week and I do want to document it but it's not the first video I want to do. Um, I need a little bit of time just to calm and just to see how life goes and uh, we'll see we'll go from there. So anyway, the video that um, I'm going to do today is, as I said, just a fun one. And it's the five bags that you're currently obsessing over. Now, I'm taking this as the five bags that um, I'm really wanting to buy. I'm looking at all the time. It might be that it's not a specific bag. I'm taking this, it might be a slight category of bag that I'm, look that I'm looking at. Um, and I'll explain the reason why I actually haven't bought them yet or... It's one that's actually just on my radar and I just haven't got round to buying it yet or I need to save up for it yet or or whatever else. So I'm going to explain each one as we go. Um, but the first one is um, I'm really, really obsessing at, at the moment over Dior Oblique uh, in the blue. And here, this is the large book tote, which is absolutely huge. It takes over the whole screen. But I, I love this bag. I really, I haven't regretted getting this. I absolutely love it. And I'm obsessing over some, getting something else in this in this fabric. I love the blue oblique. I love um, the navy blue. And I, I don't know what I want. Um, I've looked so many times for something else. So maybe the bobby bag, maybe the 30 Montaigne. There's something that stopped me buying those in the past. They've both been out for quite a while. And I don't know really what it is that stopped me. I don't know if it's the exact style of those. I think the bobby bag looks nice, but it's a bit satchel-like. I'm, I'm not sure, but I definitely want something else in the bleak, whether it's, a, you know, more of a crossbody. I'm really not sure. I think I'm waiting for something to just draw me in. And then 
and then I'll be pulling the trigger, but oh, maybe I won't now because I, I actually have no income at the moment. So we will see. It might take a while to save up for, for any bags. And maybe that's the reason I am obsessing over all of these bags because because um, of what's happening in my world at the moment. So anyway, that's the first one. I really I'll put some pictures up here. I think this I'll put the Bobby bag and the 30 Montaigne. There's a couple of pouches as well and a couple of um, like the vanity bags. Gorgeous. Um, again, would I use it? I don't know. I just uh, anyway, I definitely want something blue or bleak. So that's the first thing I'm obsessing over. The second thing I'm obsessing over is the Loewe puzzle bag. And I am I don't know what it is about this bag. I just absolutely love it. It's understated, but it's I don't know. It's some people I think when I've discussed it with other people, they think it's a bit of a nothing bag. But I really, I don't know, the craftsmanship of it, the leather, the quality of it, it's actually amazing. And oh, it's light, it's practical, it's got a little top handle. The one I like is, again, I'll put a picture somewhere up here. Um, I like the, I think it's a small size, it's got a little top handle. Um, so you can just put it on the crook of your arm. So it's actually a really practical bag. And you, it's actually a good size. Um, I also quite like the mini, but I think the smaller size is better on my frame, on my body frame. Myself and Joe from Jojo Looks, we went shopping, um, oh, it's a couple of months ago now, and we ended up in Selfridges and we both were trying, we were at Low Wave for ages and we were trying them on. And we both love them and I don't, neither of us bought one, um, but we both love them. And Joe tried on, it was, again, if I can find a picture and I'll obviously get Joe's permission if I can put it up. Um, she tried on it was the mini size puzzle bag and it was in like a green ombre and it was absolutely stunning it looked amazing on her body frame the mini size because she's beautiful and slim and um yeah i really wanted her to get it i wanted to get it i wanted to buy that one and the small one um the one i liked was the angora one which is the goat skin which is a stone color and i also really like the tan um the caramel color oh it's just beautiful and I don't know. I think I've definitely got to get one at some point. Whether I get one pre-loved because they have a lot of money and they don't hold the value. and I don't know. I don't know. I just think I'd use it a lot. I think it'd be really practical. I can already see the outfits. I can see my jeans. I don't know, some dad sandals, a white shirt with a tan crossbody puzzle bag. Just perfect. I think I'd use it a lot. So anyway, we'll see. It seems like it's, it's always on my mind so I do think that will be the, the next one once I can save up. Um, the third bag that I'm obsessing over, well it's sort of a, a category again, is um, Bottega Veneta. It's the interwoven one. I don't know what, what that one's called actually but I'm really obsessed with looking at that and I've looked at the pouch and the the Jody and the mini Jody and the mini pouch and the oh, the cassette bag and the puzzle no sorry not the puzzle the loop bag there's so many different ones and I, I just love the leather and um I have some shoes some of the 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 mules the high heeled ones and I think they're absolutely beautiful so I really really like Bottega Veneta but again I think they're amazing pops of colour so even their um signature green the like the emerald jade sort of colour green just beautiful um Again, something's just stopped me from buying that in the past. I don't know if it is because I don't think, like the pouch, I love it. I really do. It's quirky. It's different. But would I use it? I wouldn't use it that often with it not having a, a handle, a, a chain or any strap at all on it. I know they, they would do a version with the with the very chunky gold strap. Oh, it's like a chain handle in that one. Now, again, if I can find a photo, I'll put it up here. But yeah, I just don't like that. That's not that's not for me. Um, and then the smaller one, I think it's the mini pouch has got a crossbody strap, but the pouch itself is really small. So I sort of want something in between, but then it's crossbody and I just don't know. Um, but again, obsessing over it. Keep looking. At, I mean, I'm, I don't even like green, but it, the, the green on that is just beautiful. Or maybe a bright red or an orange or the do beautiful purple. And again, you know, it's like, what am I talking about? Um, so, yeah, that's the next one. Um, 
the I think one to four, the fourth bag I'm really obsessing over at the moment. And I'll just get these to show you. I have a Chanel, this is the mini reissue, and this is in the graffiti. And if you can see, it's it's got like the embossed um, croc, like the mock croc. And this is a graffiti bag in the gold. And I believe Amelia has this in the iridescent um, graffiti, I believe. And I think Pam, I think she also has, I think she has this one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Pam. Um, and we all love them. I love this. I love how it doubles up. So you can actually do, use it as a shoulder bag. Um, but then obviously crossbody and yeah, it's just, it's just a beautiful bag. And it's a decent size. You can fit all your bits and bats in. And I absolutely love this. And I also have a Chanel wallet on chain. Now this is the um, the black in the caviar, with the silver hardware, beautiful chain. And I do like the wallet on chain. I think, because I'm quite curvy, shall we say, um, the chain length is actually really good for me. I know it's quite long on some people, but for me it's actually, it actually works quite well. Um, and I've used this bag so much. This has been on, I think, pretty much every holiday that we've been on. It's amazing at the airport for the... Uh, for your passport, for your travel documents. It's amazing uh, just for a day out while you're out and about. It's really good as a little evening clutch or bag or, you know, it's it's so brilliant. But I do, because I did get it in black, um, I really, really want an alternative to these two because I, I think I use these at a similar time to each other. I see this one with the gold as, I, I think this is quite evening-y. Um, I've worn this a lot with, all black outfit, red lip, beautiful shoes, bang, this, amazing. But I've also used it casually, like jeans, white shirt and this, but I don't see this as a summer bag and I don't really see this as a summer bag. Even though I have used it on holiday, I think it's fine. But I would love, I'd love something as a bit of an alternative, um, something a bit more summery. Um, I'd really like the Chanel mini rectangle in the not you know the sort of uh, classic quilted style and i know you can't double it up but that wouldn't bother me i'd be quite happy to do it crossbody and yeah I, I really like those but i also worry about the lambskin and uh and whether it's as carefree as as the caviar so the reason i'm showing both of these is that the bag i'm obsessing about is is probably a version of something that will be an alternative to these so it would be a bright color or a summery color so it'd either be the um chanel rectangle mini or it'd be another wallet on chain and i think i'm getting and i'm sort of veering towards the wallet on chain because you can get this in caviar and i, I do think you can get quite a lot in these i know it looks very thin but they actually do expand out quite a way and I can get my glasses in here. I can get most things in, in here and because it's caviar, it's just a little bit more carefree. So maybe this in more of a summery colour is probably, you know, the easiest thing. Because you can't get the mini rectangle in um, in caviar at the moment. And I think even the lambskin, they're very, very hard to find. So... We'll see, but that's something I'm obsessing over. Something that Amelia's got so many. She's in love with the with the mini rectangle, and um, yeah, they're beautiful. So yeah, we'll see. Um, and then the final one that I'm obsessing over is I'm very very fortunate, very lucky to have a a few Hermes bags, and that is my absolute true passion. And because that I've always got something on the wish list that may come, may not come, we've no idea when that will come. Um, I always have to save up and be ready for when or if I get the call. And so um, I think that's another reason for not buying some of the other bags. If I'm not sure, if I'm not 100% sure about them, I don't buy them because um, that's money I can put towards a Hermes bag that might come on my wish list. So um i'm always mindful of that and i do have some beautiful bags but i would really there's nothing missing in my collection none of these things are, are necessary are they but it is a passion of mine and i would really love a, a kelly 25 in epsom i do have constance so this is in the black 
Epsom leather. This is with the gold hardware. And I've always loved Togo. I have a black, I have a black Kelly. This is in Togo leather with palladium hardware. Absolute dream bag. Absolutely love this. And that bag is, oh, that's always been the dream with Togo. Absolutely love Togo. Um, until I got this. And then I've realised Epsom is absolutely stunning. It holds its shape. This is just a Constance. I have a Constance look. This is a Constance 24, by the way. Um, but as soon as I saw this, I then just fell in love with Epsom. So I as soon and that's the problem. As soon as you get one, you're thinking about the next one. And all I can think about now is is a Kelly in Epsom. So it would be the Cellier version and again it needs to be a fun colour or I do actually like the gold um which is the the Hermes gold is is actually tan uh like a tan colour and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm very much I like gold and palladium hardware on my bags it for me it depends on the colour of the leather as to which hardware I go for so if it's a neutral bag such as a such as a black I like both I'm quite happy either I even like rose gold. I'm really happy with either. But um, on certain bags, it's like I have a Birkin. This is the 25. And this is in, again, Togo leather. And this is in the beautiful dark. I don't know if it's coming across as slightly purpley on screen, but it's very dark red. It's like a burgundy. And it's um, this is Rouge Granat, which is like a, I suppose it's like a garnet colour. And for me, a dark red or any red, I love gold with red. I think it makes it look really, I don't know, just luxurious and opulent. And I think that's a really, really beautiful colour. Um, whereas some col some bags I really like palladium hardware on. Um, so for me, it just depends. And I think in the gold colour, much as it's a warm neutral, I really like palladium hardware with, with gold, um, with the tan colour. So that would be the dream but also maybe you know a really bright color fun color for the kelly because um why not so we'll see that's that is on my wish list um with my um contact at hermes and we will see what happens i think it won't be anytime soon but um i'm always obsessing about what what to put on my wish list what's gonna come on my wish list what um Oh, it's just I just love Hermes. It, I just the craftsmanship and the heritage and and that is my true passion. So yeah, so that that's the fifth one. So out of all of them, as to which is the most realistic of me actually purchasing, I think it will be the puzzle bag. I've just I don't know. I just need to get one. So I don't know. I don't know what you think, Joe. I think we just need to get matching ones. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the video. It was just a bit of a fun video of things I'm currently thinking about and um, and wanting. There is a sixth bag that I actually keep looking at, but I don't think I would ever buy it. And that, I'll put a picture up here if I can find that one as well. Um, it's the uh, YSL, the Saint Laurent, and it's the huge tote bag. Um, the big, is it called the I care or the I care or Icare or I really don't know. I really should do some research, but there's something about that bag as well. Um, I do like a big slouchy tote bag and I don't know how practical it is or how heavy it is. I've never seen one in the flesh, but I keep it. I know they're all over social media, which um, does influence us, doesn't it? But um, yeah, I really like that one as well. And um I sort of obsess a little, a little bit on that, but I don't think I'd ever buy that one. So, um, especially at the price, I think it's very expensive for a YSL bag, and I don't have any YSL um, in my collection at all. So, um, yeah, I don't know why that one's crept into my mind, but the power of social media, eh? So anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, thank you, ladies. I'll tag everybody below, and um, just want to say thank you for your support. Um, if one person watches this, amazing. If nobody watches it, it doesn't matter. I'm just happy to be um, to be here, and uh, I might see you in another one.